Hey, I'm right back with another video. Um, it's 2.50 p.m. in the afternoon, and it is Wednesday. Yes. I think I made two, three videos today. And I've been doing some thinking, trying to put pieces together. And believe me, I this is not a situation or a subject that I like to dwell on because, you know, I would rather be doing other things like being at work and having a job. But anyway, um, I was thinking, you know, um, about some of the things that um, relate to targeted individuals and, you know, women, relating to women specifically. Um, and I was thinking about the timelines of everything going on and just the behavior of people. And, um, you know, and I'm not the kind of person that, um, I don't like being presumptuous. I don't like to assume things, um, because, you know, it, it seems, I don't know, <laughs> it, it, it just seems like, well, why would, I don't know, you know how it is when people are presumptuous, and I don't, I don't want to come off that way. But, you know, as I mentioned before, in, in, targeting, um, a lot of women go through this particular issue where, like, for example, um, they're being targeted and there's a lot of secrecy surrounding them. And, you know, there really isn't any reason to have any secrecy because, like I said, most targets are just kind of going about their business on a day-to-day -day basis. But, um, oftentimes, you know, <laughs> I guess this falls under the predatory stalking category. <laughs> Sometimes um, there might be somebody who might be interested in, interested in this particular target, and so they try to reserve this particular target by manipulating their employment. And um, and I I don't want to assume things. I don't. Okay, but like I said, I'm sitting here at my house. This has been going on for a bunch of years. Um, at least, okay, obviously my family's been targeting me forever, okay? And then this whole issue of me looking for work, um, bouncing around like a chicken with my head cut off, has been going on since, I would say, since 2014. So it's that, like three, almost four years. And, um, you know, and I mentioned before that, you know, when you're targeted, individual, everybody is involved, and I know this involves the Facebook chain, okay, so you're probably thinking, okay, Marie, get to it, just say what you're going to say. Okay, so my thing is, is, you know, <laughs> and once again, you know, I don't want to sound presumptuous, but how, is it possible that perhaps Stephen Miles is behind my target, like the main perp, in a way, okay, um, and if that's true, you know, um, I would be very flattered, <laughs> very flattered indeed. But the thing is, is that, um, you know, I, I could see how all of this would relate and how it would fit together. Because, like I said, most targeted individual women are single, okay? And they're usually placed in jobs where they're kind of socially isolated. And I think the reason is because they don't want that target to interact with other men because they might be trying to reserve that person <laughs> for themselves. Now, I will say, like I said, I don't want to sound presumptuous, okay, because I'm, you know, but like I said, I have too much goddamn time on my hands, okay, to not sit here and think about all of this. It takes four years and 655 goddamn videos, okay, so you start thinking about shit. And, and I'm thinking, okay, well, that, that's a possibility. That's a very big possibility. I would like to say that if he is indeed behind my targeting, he's the main perp, predatory, that uh, falls under predatory stalking, okay, if that's true, yeah, that would make me extremely happy, okay, but I would also like to say that someone like him doesn't have to resort to something like that, because I really do have a lot of respect for him, and second of all, um, I don't get involved with people at work, period, period, um, Work is work, and, you know, I look at people, um, you know, I, I look at men like any other part of the job, you know, it just, it doesn't interest me to, to do that, and I don't, like I said, I don't want to sound like I'm assuming things, I don't, okay, 
but I'm thinking about these timelines. I'm thinking about telephone conversations that I had with an old schoolmate um, guy, an old guy's schoolmate that called and seemed a little too giddy, you know. And I'm thinking, okay, this is a few years ago, at least a year ago or so. I'm thinking about some of the jobs that were arranged. <laughs> thinking about some of the jobs that are arranged, and it's like, okay, it kind of makes me wonder, you know. And that's all I'm saying, okay. Um, like I said, you know, um, I've always liked Stephen Miles. Always, I've always had this huge crush on him. I, you know, uh, <clears throat> and I probably would have pulled those shenanigans myself if I thought there was a possibility that I could snag him. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm just trying to put the pieces together because, you know, I'm looking at timelines. I know that, um, you know, I had sent him an email back in 2008 and um, never heard anything from him. And then, like, right around, I mean, things were weird anyway over there in, in Chatsworth at that job. Things were just really weird, okay? But... I came back to Bakersfield, and then um, things were kind of normal for a while. And then um, at the Christmas party, when I brought Joel there, things started getting really weird. Like there was a swarm, like this, you know, gossip and all this bullshit started happening. And then 2014 is when I kept thinking, oh my God, I must be a targeted individual. You know what I mean? Um, by 2015, I was like, okay, um, I had to start doing some videos. So, I, I, I don't know for sure, but, you know, if he is indeed, which, you know, it'd be kind of cool, it'd be really cool if he was, <laughs> actually, um, you know, I, I've always liked him, always liked him, um, you know, but I never really thought that he was interested in me at all, um, but, you know, I, I'm not, uh, the kind of person who involves myself at work, work is work, work is only work, you know, and I do take my job seriously, I want to go to my job, focus on my job, benefit from my job, meaning I, 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 I enjoy working, and I like to get my work done, and then I want to come home, you know, at the end of the day, and that's it, I, I don't have time to get involved with people at work, and it doesn't interest me to do that. So, and like I said, I don't want to come off like I'm assuming a bunch of shit, okay? But, you know, your brain starts putting shit together, and you start thinking, okay, does this make sense? Is this right? Is this happening? Is this, you know, and you can't help it, you know what I mean? You can't help but start thinking and wondering what the hell's going on. So, um, I'm just kind of putting it out there. So, I'm going to wrap up this video, and, um, and I don't know if there's really anything left for me to say. I think I got all the ranting out of my... And, and I would like to say that, you know, when it comes to, like, my previous employers, yeah, that, that statement still stands, okay? I still have issues with them, um, you know, coming into my, my work and involving mother shit and all this other stuff. Yeah, I do resent that, okay? But as far as, like, Stephen Miles, you know, there's nothing he could ever do that's wrong to me. But, um, you know, I'm still... And like I said, I don't want to assume things. I don't. But it certainly explains some of the sh the jobs that I've had, and it certainly, um, you know, oftentimes, like I said, I'll put a woman in a situation where she has no social interaction, you know, and <laughs> like <laughs> you are the last person who has to resort to something like that, you know, because um, I would always want to get to know you regardless. So, anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video, and I will be back with another one later. Maybe tomorrow. Who knows? But it, it probably won't be tonight. Bye.